Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Gatsby 3 light bath sconce. They call it a bath sconce, but you can use this anywhere. It's a beautiful fixture. You can use it facing up. You can also use it facing down. It's reversible, so it's awesome for that. Let's talk about uh, a little bit more. It's a 2013-22. There's also a 5 light version. That's going to be the 2013-23. Go check that one out too if you guys want. Uh, let's get into finishes really quick on this. You're going to notice that Hubberton Forge has a pull down menu where it talks about the finishes you can get this and you'll notice some of the regular finishes are missing from that list. If you're pairing this up with other Hubberton Forge fixtures, like uh, could be any fixture, but in maybe a finish not offered in that list, like Dark Smoke 07 or 05 Bronze, drop a quick email and let me know about what you want to do and then I'll send it over to customs so we can get a custom quote on a custom finish for you. Okay, other than that, let's talk about a couple other things. Let's get into size on this. So this is five inches overall height and that's going to be the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the very top, 21 inches wide, so it's about that big. Projection on it is 5.4 inches and that's the distance from the back plate, actually from the wall itself, to the very uh, end of this fixture. So, and projection, let's see, 5.4. Mounting height, distance from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of the electrical outlet box is coming in at 2.5. And this is just going to go on a normal 4-inch junction box, so it doesn't go on anything uh, too fancy. A great way for you to see more information about that in the installations is to look at the installation's instructions. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations instructions PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you lots of information. It's going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you some of the things you're going to get I'll talk about in a second. It's going to show you um, the socket setup which we'll also get into, but it's also going to show you the back plate and, and drawings of the other side of the back plate. A lot of you guys want to see that so you can see how you're going to be mounting this on your wall. Okay, Let's hop into the crystal really fast. So Hobbiton only uses incredibly nice glass and what you probably can't tell when you're looking at the photograph of this is exactly how thick this is. This is incredibly thick. It's very very substantial when you get into a piece of glass. It's optical quality glass, it's all hand done, and just want to make sure that you guys know how wonderful this is. It's almost like a piece of uh, steuben glass that you just want to put on a table, like your coffee table, and look at all the time. Okay, now let's get into a couple things other than that. <clears throat> let's talk about what's going on with a socket. It's going to be using a G9 socket, and they just use a, a variety of bulbs. You can use a halogen up to 60 watts. It's a dimmable fixture. If you want to do that, just they just plug right in. So you've got three of those. If you want to do LED, we'll get into this now. LEDs come in all kinds of different types. So put that down. So you have all these kind of cool LEDs that are available for this. So you've got the cob LEDs that look like corn cobs. This is a 75 watt dimmable um, equivalent. This is a phosphorus one, the ones that have the yellow strips running through them, also dimmable, and that's probably a 60 watt equivalent. The little guy here that you see right there, that guy is a frosted one, and that's probably a 40 watt equivalent, also dimmable. And I got all these on Amazon, they're very easy to get, so don't be afraid that you're not going to be able to find an LED that will work in this. When you're, when you're looking at LEDs, you always want to talk about the color temperature. 2700 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale is going to be super yellow. And I probably wouldn't go that direction unless I was using this in a non-bathroom application. But in a bathroom application, you want to kind of get in the middle of the road. The other part of this thing is going to be what's called daylight. And on the spectrum of, of the Kelvin scale, daylight is 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 Kelvin. That's that super white blue light. That's what, like, hospital waiting room light. Um, I probably wouldn't go there if I was going to put this in a bathroom. What I would do is I would do 3,000 Kelvin. 3,000 K is what you really want to do for this. It, it'll, it'll make the crystal look really beautiful, but it'll also put the correct light on you because you're going to be looking in the mirror and you want to make sure that you look like what you should look like and, and not influenced by like a, a blue light or a yellow light. So there you go. Um, on top of that, let's talk about this. This is just a tool that's going to be in that parts list, and this is going to be a retaining, we're going to call it a retaining cup. It's also going to be in that parts list. So how to put the glass on. Once you put your bulb in, you're going to be just putting your, sliding your glass down on top. You're going to be using this, <clears throat> and this basically just sits right inside. And how I would do it is I would take this, put, put that little retaining cup inside, take the crystal, put it like this so the cup doesn't slide out, and then lower all of it together and then you basically use your hand twisting this 
as a proxy for your hand that can't make it inside this piece of glass. And once you're done, you'll take it out. The little retaining piece is holding it all together. You're going to take this and put it into a storage drawer, junk drawer in your kitchen, and just forget about it until you need it way down in the future. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmaidenVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video so it's really important that you kind of watch the video use the chart you can click on that chart on different things so you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron it'll do the same thing but it's really important that you understand how Hubbardton Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmaidenVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.